Now, not all parts are rectangles. Sometimes you want to do basic modeling with them. And by model, I mean create certain shapes and objects. And you can totally do that using some of the basic controls. So I've been default using select. It allows you to move your mouse and hover and select a particular part. And then if you click and hold, you can drag it. But the move and scale and rotate give you finer control of those particular types of modifications. So for example, move will give you the arrows for three dimensional movement. Red will be your X, blue will be your Y, and green will be your Z. So it moves in three dimensional space. And so if you want really fine grain control, you can click that and then turn off move and get even finer grain control. But that way you don't have to like a perfectly align something up using the select. You can use the movement and it'll give you a finer grain control of that. Scaling allows you to change the size of the object. So we're gonna hit Q a little bit, go down, look up. And then you can see I've widened it a little bit here, right? But we're gonna also make it taller. Now, if you have collisions on, you're not gonna be able to expand past it. If you turn collisions off, you don't really care about it colliding with something else, right? So I'm gonna keep that on for now, just so it's nice and aligned. And we'll go up and expand it even longer. And it doesn't need to be that tall. There we go. And then lastly is rotation. Rotation allows you to rotate on a specific axis. It doesn't matter which one. We're just going to go rotate on these. And if you have movement on, it's just like rotate is the same style. It'll snap to 45 degree angle. So it's nice and you know accurate. But if you turn that off, you can get really more smooth and slightly different angles. It's still going to obey the collisions. And then once you're done with that, you can go test your geometry and notice that it's because it's a larger block now, it, all the collisions are still intact. So that piece of geometry is now basically an area that you have to walk over. So if you're doing level building or platforms, you can modify those parts to be the size that you want and the location you want with bits of rotation.